I am almost certain that you have never spent a sleepless night over this. But have you ever wondered what's so great about biopesticides? And why may they profit from the COVID-19 pandemic? Hello, friends of facts, and welcome to Fantastic Studies and Where to Find Them. Join us for some exciting research from scientific papers. In 2021, Kumar and co-authors published an overview of biopesticides and discussed their importance in plant protection as well as their commercial acceptance. But first things first, what are biopesticides? Biopesticides must occur naturally. They can be living organisms or natural products. They can originate from animals, plants or microorganisms like bacteria or algae. And just like conventional synthetic pesticides, Biopesticides are used to control pests and pathogens. They shall protect the harvest and ensure perfect food quality. In this paper, the authors summarize a lot of different groups of biopesticides which may be useful in future. There are microbial biopesticides like bacteria or fungi, biopesticides derived from algae or cyanobacteria, non-lethal insect pheromones which repel or attract flies, mosquitoes or ants, Biochemical biopesticides regulating insect growth, plant-based extracts and essential oils such as nettle stock, and the more fancy ones like metal nanobiopesticides, and those based on mechanisms called RNA interference. As there are so many, we focus on the three most relevant and interesting ones today. First of them, Bacillus thuringiensis. The most common representative of microbial biopesticides is the bacterium Bacillus thuringiensis. This bacterium produces a toxic protein. When eaten by an insect, it gets broken down in their gut where it leads to cell damage. As a result, the unfortunate insect starves to death. Second, arbuscular mycorrhizal fungi. Alternatively, you could opt to boost the plant's natural defenses by training it with arbuscular mycorrhizal fungi. Those fungi are normally present in healthy soil, but decrease in heavily farmed, fertilized and tilled land. Well, and third, RNA interference. The latest advancement in biopesticides is RNA interference, or RNAi. This is an alternative to genetically modifying crops and could result in pest-resistant crops without altering the plant's genetic code or DNA. It works by silencing essential proteins and pest organisms. The interfering RNA introduced to the plant catches those proteins and renders them useless. Without those essential proteins, the targeted pest organism cannot survive. In future, RNA interference could be awfully effective against specific pests while being safe for humans and the environment. But up to now, this technology is not commercially available in Europe yet. This may quickly change, however, thanks to the corona pandemic and the resulting greatly increased capacity for the production of RNA vaccines. The search for alternatives to conventional pesticides is important for future pest control. Pesticides shall become much safer for humans and the environment while increasing yield on the field and ensuring spotless apples even after half a year of storage. Today, many pesticides not only affect the pests they are intended to kill, but also non-target organisms such as fish or beneficial soil microorganisms. What's more, chemical pesticides can induce pesticide resistance, which then leads to higher pesticide use. Conventional pesticides can contaminate the environment and accumulate in our food, some even cause very harmful effects such as decreased pollination, cause cancer or disrupt the healthy development of human and animal offspring. In addition, many conventional pesticides contribute to bad soil quality and long-term yield reduction. In contrast, modern biopesticides are often more environment-friendly, more target-specific and leave only little residues in food. However, modern biopesticides are still used to a lesser extent than conventional synthetic pesticides because they are more expensive, difficult to store, less efficient 
and sometimes, well, they only affect the specific pests they are intended to affect. Therefore, you know the drill, more research is required to move them from the lab to the field. Let's sum it up. What is so great about biopesticides? They promise great looking and healthy food without the negative side effects of conventional pesticides, which are the development of resistance by pests and potentially harmful effects for humans, animals and the environment. And why may biopesticides profit from the COVID-19 pandemic? A lot of research and money has been invested in RNA synthesis and production. In future, knowledge and facilities may be used for the development and production of fancy RNA interference pesticides. By the way, did you know that two scientists from the US were awarded the Nobel Prize for their discovery of RNA interference only in 2006? If you did not fully understand the underlying mechanisms right away, don't worry. It's cutting edge science. Perhaps you have a look at this brilliant explanatory video. As always, thanks for watching and see you soon.